my friends and welcome back to Mass Effect. In our last video, we made our way to the Rift Station and helped out some scientists who were stuck here. Now in today's video, we are going to make our way through the maintenance tunnels to the secure lab, I think, maybe the restricted area, and hopefully in one of these sections we will find Benezia and... She's, she's kind of running out of places to be, so hopefully we'll, we'll run into her today. But I have relocated down to the lower level from where I left you last time, and I've switched up some weapons on all three of us, and myself included. I, I have a one-shot-at-a-time one assault rifle. It's just getting to the point where they seem to be so much better that I feel like I'm just going to have to need to get over my automatic versus one-shot-at-a-time. I... That, that, that's just all I got. But anyway, so we are, are headed towards the ventilation room. I'm waiting for bugs to just come out. Or geth, maybe, instead. Oh. Nope, just bugs. See, the damage is just so amazing. I mean, like, I'm, I'm using Thunder 9. And the damage was just insane. Although the Breaker 8 is technically better, but the Hinks heat sink, I, I don't know. I, I'm happy with what I have for right now. I may switch it up again. Probably not go back to the other one. <laughs> oh, journal update. Sneaking in, you've entered an unguarded back door into the sealed areas of Rift Station. The guards are not alerted to your presence. So I imagine if I went in the, the front door, basically, the guards would be alerted and I'd have to kill them. And, you know, they're... I don't think they're bad people. They just got stuck at a crappy job with killer bugs. I mean... <sighs> <laughs> it's one of those things where it's like, was there no one in the room who was like, maybe this is not the best of ideas? M maybe? Oh, that was close. I just feel like there always needs to be somebody in the room who's, who's just like, no. Or maybe we should not do those things. So let's head into the secure lab first. And then we'll go down to the other secure lab, the restricted area. I know, I keep going to my map multiple times. It's... Oh, Matriarch Benezia. She's here already. Huh. Technician kit. Upgrade kit. Warning! Watchdog protocol is active. Okay, well, I guess I need to go do Benezia first. That was... Oh, I gotta be honest, that was a whole lot easier than I thought it was gonna be. All right, Liara, let's go talk to your mom and, and see how this goes. You do not know the privilege of being a mother. There is power in creation to shape a life turn it toward happiness or despair. Her children were to be ours, raised to hunt and slay Saren's enemies. I won't be moved by sympathy, no matter who you bring into this confrontation. Whatever. <laughs> That's not why Liara is here. I mean, it kind of is why Liara is here. Um, but whatever? Huh... I mean, I don't want to be diplomatic with her. I don't feel like she's a good person. And the fact that they were going to raise these bugs to kill people? I... bad. So I'm going to go with whatever. I feel like she just, she deserves it. I have no idea what you're talking about and I don't care. Indeed. What have you told her about me, Liara? What could I say, Mother? That you're insane? Evil? Should I explain how to kill you? What could I say? Have you faced an Asari commando unit before? Few humans have. Hmm, you can't take me what about Liara? I guess you won't negotiate. That whatever really didn't go where I thought it was gonna go. Like, I knew it was gonna be snarky, but I it didn't really, I wanted it to be more like whatever, I I don't care that Liara's your, I, anyway, I don't even know where I wanted to go. But yeah, what about Liara? Are you gonna kill your own kid? A 
Can't believe you'd kill your own daughter. I now realize I should have been stricter with her. Oh no. Oh dear. We're doing great. Uh, you guys are totally carrying me through this, and I and I I am appreciative. Benezia power level. What is that? What does that mean? Is she getting weaker? Oh, she is getting weaker. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. I didn't mean to shoot you, Lyra. Hang on. Garrus, you're using the wrong gun again. I mean... This is not over. Saren is unstoppable. My mind is filled with his light. Everything is clear. What are you talking- the Rachni seem to disagree? What is Saren planning? Your troops are sloppy. Uh... I, I, need, I, I need more information. What is he planning? I, I need to know more. Start talking, Benezia. What's Saren's next move? I will not betray him. You will. You... You must listen. Saren still whispers in my mind. I can fight his compulsions briefly, but the indoctrination is strong. Why should I suddenly believe you? Why are you able to break free of his control now? I sealed a part of my mind away from the indoctrination, saving it for a moment when I could help destroy him. It will not last long. You might attack again like the Asari on Pharaoh's quick making excuses. You might attack again? So you could turn on me again? Yes, but it would not be my will, Shepard. People are not themselves around Saren. You come to idolize him, worship him. You would do anything for him. The key is Sovereign, his flagship. It is a dreadnought of incredible size, and its power is extraordinary. Yeah, where did he get this? It, it's the thing that attacked Eden... It's the ship that attacked Eden Prime, I'm assuming. But where did he get it? Sovereign's not like other ships. Where did it come from? I cannot say. The Geth did not build it. Its technology is far more advanced than that of any known species. The longer you stay aboard, the more Saren's will seems correct. You sit at his feet and smile as his words pour into you. It is subtle at first. I thought I was strong enough to resist. Instead, I became a willing tool, eager to serve. He sent me here to find the location of the Mew Relay. Its position was lost thousands of years ago. What's... Uh, how, how do you lose a relay? I mean, if it was thousands of years ago, but how do you lose a relay? How does something that big go missing? 4,000 years ago, a star nearby went supernova. 
The shockwave propelled the relay out of its system, but did not damage it. Its precise vector and speed are impossible to determine. As millennia passed, the nebula created by the nova enveloped the relay. It is difficult to find any cold object in interstellar space, particularly something swathed in hot dust and radiation. So, you're here, I don't think she's here for that, but I thought she was here for the, the Rachni. But you're here for that? Someone on Novaria found it? 2,000 years ago, the Rachni inhabited that region of our galaxy. They oh. discovered the relay. The Rachni can share memories across generations. Queens inherit the knowledge of their mothers. I took the location of the relay from the Queen's mind. I was not gentle. So is that why the Rachni are freaking out so much? But the Rachni found the relay? How did the Rachni find it? They searched, patiently. They are territorial creatures, driven to close any possible way into their systems. And Saren's plan? Why does Saren need the Mew Relay? He believes it will lead him to the Conduit. I would tell you more if I could, but Saren did not share his counsel with me. I was merely a servant to his cause. Yeah, but you originally started off willingly, and then, like, what he, like, mind-controlled you into being his... I don't want to say slave, but, like, his ultimate believer? I just... I, do you regret your actions? I don't know. You can still make it right. Give me the information. I was not myself, but I should have been stronger. I transcribed the data to an OSD. Take it, please. Knowing the relay's coordinates is not enough. Do you know where he planned to go from there? Saren wouldn't tell me his destination. But you must find out quickly. I transmitted the coordinates to him before you arrived. You have to stop me. I, I can't. His teeth are up my ear. Fingers on my spine. You sh you should. Oh, you should. Mother, I don't leave. Fight him. You've always made me proud, Liara. Oh, no. Die. Oh, no. We all have the right weapons on? We do. I cannot go on. You will have to stop him, Shepard. Ugh. Stay with us? I mean, like, I don't know if I want her to stay with us. She's mind-controlled by Saren. She's not going to be useful or trustworthy. You all there? Treacherous... Tre treacherous? <laughs> treacherous words. Uh, let's go with the middle one. That's the one that I dislike the least. You're free of the indoctrination again? I still hear it like metal on metal, squealing and reverberating. Mother! Good night, little wing. I will see you again with the dawn. No light. They always said there would be a... Naveria, death of a matriarch. Matriarch Benezia is dead. She gave you the location of the Mew Relay, but did not know where Saren planned to go after activating it. Deal with hot labs. You've dealt with the matriarch, but there's still the issue of the Rachni. Down the hot labs. Yeah, I mean, like... Um... There's all these eggs, and... Like... This is a problem. I, I don't you want to say something about your mom? I mean, like, kind of had to kill her. Turians don't like the cold, Shepard. 
Did I ever mention that? No, no, you didn't. Oh, good. The music finally got quieter. It was so sad. The music got really loud over her, like, death scene. And it's still kind of loud. But yeah, there's Arachni. That's totally not creepy at all. <gasps> this one serves as our voice. We cannot sing. Not in these low spaces. Your musics are colorless. I don't understand you. Why aren't you dead? Identify yourself. We're going to go with identify yourself because it's a bug. It totally, it's, um, it's like Independence Day when the, the, the aliens that they captured, like, took control of Data and, and made him talk. You know what I'm talking about, right? All my I have all my cross references. I can't remember anybody's name. I it's it's my it's my malfunction. Anyway, identify yourself. Who am I speaking to here? We are the mother. We sing for those left behind. The children you thought silenced. We are Rachni. Hmm. Are you controlling the Asari? I mean, I feel like that's an obvious answer, but let's ask it anyway. How are you speaking through her? Our kind sing through touchings of thought. We pluck the strings, and the other understands. She is weak to urging. She has colors we have no names for. But she is ending. Her music is bittersweet. It is beautiful. The children we birthed were stolen from us before they could learn to sing. They are lost to silence. End their suffering. They cannot be saved. They will only cause harm as they are. Oh, I get it. So the Asari who she's using to talk through isn't fully dead yet, but is dying, and she connects and talk through her mind. And the Rachni who've been running around this station, I guess, have not been in touch with their mother mentally, so they don't know to not misbehave. I Is that kind of what I understand? If I just ask the question, though, <laughs> what's wrong with them? She's probably going to answer me. I don't understand. Why are your children killing people? These needlemen, they stole our eggs from us. They sought to turn our children into beasts of war. Claws with no songs of their own. Our elders are comfortable with silence. Children know only fear if no one sings to them. Fear has shattered their minds. I understand. A child left alone in a closet until she is 16 would not be sane. Yeah. Um, if you're certain? So you want me to go kill your misbehaving children? Is what she's saying? It seems so harsh, but okay. If you're sure they can't be saved. It is lamentable, but necessary. Do what you must. Before you deal with our children, we stand before you. What will you sing? Will you release us? Are we to fade away once more? The Rachni were a threat to the galaxy. Those tanks are filled with acid. If she gets out of hand, they dissolve her. They made a mistake. They let the Krogan go too far. This is a chance for us to atone. She has done nothing to us. Your companions hear the truth. You have the power to free us, or return our people to the silence of memory. Hmm. I don't know. Because I remember vaguely from the Codex entry that 
they sent the Krogan after the Rachni because they weren't aware of like the the queens and they that they existed or they didn't know how to communicate with them or something and then therefore they couldn't kind of I'm assuming if they could they would have made a treaty of some sort but like yeah what are your plans if I let you live would you attack other races again no we I do not know what happened in the war we only heard discordance songs the color of oily shadows we would seek a hidden place to teach our children harmony. If they understand, perhaps we would return. Return where, though? I... your survival? Are you a survivor from the war? A clone? We do not know. We were only an egg, hearing Mother cry in our dreams. A tone from space hushed one voice after another. It forced the singers to resonate with its own sour yellow note. Then we awoke in this place, the last echo of those who came out from the singing planet. The sky is silent. I mean, like, the, the safe bet would be to kill her. And then no Rachna, in theory, unless a scientist finds another egg, and then they remember that we killed this one, and then they get out and, and things are really bad. Or we can give this creature the benefit of the doubt and not kill them. I'm not... I, I feel like killing her is, like, the easy way out. I feel like... Oh, I'm trying to think what my shepherd would do. I don't really know such a hard decision well i'm gonna have to go with my gut and that's gonna be the i won't kill you portion because uh shepherd would have read or know about the codex entry that i read and understand that there was an intelligence behind the ragni that nobody was able to deal with and now that we are able to deal with this intelligence then maybe 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 bad things won't happen i mean if we don't torture her children anymore then maybe she won't want to kill us but let, let's do it and just live with our consequences <laughs> I won't destroy your entire race. You'll go free. You will give us the chance to compose anew? We will remember. Better. We will sing of your forgiveness to our children. I hope so. How are you getting out of here, though? Like, off the planet? Uh-oh. What's that alarm for? Hang on. Journal updated. In the heart of Rift Station, you found the last queen of an insect race thought extinct a thousand years ago. You showed mercy and allowed her to try to rebuild her species as a more peaceful race. Yeah, I, I'm like, I really hope so. Plus, like, then, like, the scientists can't continue to, like, use your... Use your... Oh, holy hour, I'm so sorry about your mom. Use your remains or, or whatever else to... I, I don't know, make bad things. That was really specific, I know. Hang on, I'm it's yelling at me, but I don't know why or how to turn it off. It's probably yelling at me because I let the the bug's mom mom go. The Rachni Queen? That's what I'm gonna go with. Okay, so we need to go. Can we go to the restricted area? What's... Can I go straight all the way? Hmm. I feel like this is going to get me back out front to where the guards were at, right? So let's... Let's try one more time to go into this other area. Oh, I can't. Okay, well, that's that. <laughs> oh, 
Liara, I'm so sorry about your mom. I mean, it's it's so gray area where she joined and then was mind controlled to do to stay, but like would she have stayed and done these things even if she wasn't mind controlled? I I don't know. Oh, we have to go kill. Oh. Did they get in there and oh no, did they get in there and kill the Hang on. I need to Here we go. There are hot labs and then maybe this one? I can't go there. I'm very confused as to where I'm going, I'll be honest. <laughs> Have I not been down here before? I'm guessing I haven't. Purge controls. Yaroslav Tarkovsky. What on earth are you guys doing down here? Are you here to secure the situation? Uh, are you all right? If you mean exterminate. Okay, so the Ragnai Queen Lady did say I had to go kill all of her children who were not connected and were didn't understand what was going on so i'm guessing that's all of them in the hot laps i'm i'm very slow to put the pieces together i apologize how are you holding up you must listen to me if we do not contain our mistake they will drop bombs from the battle stations you understand did you let them loose you let these things out uh, i am only following the orders binary helix found an egg it was on a derelict ship, thousands of years drifting. Yes. This was Ragnai's ship. Inside they find many eggs in cryogenic suspension. Um, yeah, the egg was ancient, they hatched it? I, I feel like I did things out of order. A thousand-year-old egg hatched? Yes. Very tough to be so long frozen. That it survived the centuries. This is miraculous. Binary Helix plan to clone Rachni, mass produce them, create an army. But when they get here, they find this egg is not a common Rachni. It is a queen. After she lays eggs, they move her to Rift Station. They are thinking that without her, they can raise the babies to be obedient. Oh, okay. Now it's making more sense. So what about a male? Hold on. Don't you need a male to get eggs? Yeah. Queens are born carrying the genetic code of their fathers. Ah. Eggs are carried away from the colony to hatch alone. Queens can lay eggs in hours and have a colony in days. This is how they spread so quickly. I'm totally getting like an alien kind of vibe, like Alien the movie or Aliens. But yeah, so you guys tried to like be adoptive parents and were awful <laughs> and your your kids didn't like you is that kind of what's going on so the Ragni aren't obedient we're running out of time your experiment failed yet your experiment did fail separating them from their mother didn't work no uh, this was exactly the wrong thing to do i am thinking that without a queen Ragni do not develop properly her mind is shaping theirs these Ragni are uncontrollable we can't save them. We're running out of time. So, so yeah. So, what's the? Wh why are we still talking? Are you telling me I shouldn't kill these things? Uh, actually, I was to tell you the opposite. These Rachni are beyond saving. It is a sad thing, but they must be euthanized. I am thinking that the neutron purge must be set off. Yeah, neutron purge. I'm not familiar with the purge system. It creates bursts of neutron radiation, kills everything within the station. Things beyond get genetic damage of varying degree. Hmm, just tell me how? How do we set off the purge? Arming controls are nearby. All you do is insert the key. Then I will give Mira destruct- <laughs> There we go. So 
don't I don't understand. He was told to let them out, but he was told by who to let them out. I'm so confused. So the hot labs have a self-destruct mechanism called a neutron purge. This would eliminate all the creatures that have overrun the facility. So you have the card needed to arm the neutron purge, use it on the controls in the operations center. Oh, sir, I, I have so many questions. Acquired codes. You have, a, you have the codes needed to activate the neutron purge controls. All that's left to do is to order Mira to begin the countdown. Where is Mira? Why? Of course she can't be right here. What? Stop. 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 Okay, I guess it's just going to stay there. I'm guessing it's also down there. So are all these filled with Rachni down there? I mean... Your personal bug army? I mean, seriously. Who... How does this not, like, there's no one who's like, maybe this isn't a good idea, guys? I mean, I hate to bring up the obvious, but, like... Connecting. I have full access to the facility and am at your disposal. So, Rachni? How many Rachni are in here? I'm sorry. The sensor network is too damaged to provide an accurate count. <laughs> Can you give me an estimate? Give me your best guess. Guessing is beyond my design parameters, Commander. Really? I mean... <sighs> robots. Situation report. What's the status of the facility? Containment breach and laboratory pod gamma. The neutron purge system is functional, but has not been armed. Well, you have permission to initiate the neutron purge. Activate the neutron purge. I'm sorry, but I can't do that without proper code authorization. And I mumble something. I have the code. <laughs> code input 8750200079. Code Omega local execution. Verified. Code Omega execution in 120 seconds. Oh, they're very upset. Code Omega, the neutron purge is armed and counting down. Run up to the elevator. Okay. red dots down there. Okay, run to the elevator. Okay, the hot labs and neutron purge fired the insane Rachni are all dead. Okay, that's what we were supposed to do. Mission complete. You defeated the matriarch and eliminated the Rachni in the hot labs. Depart with station via the passenger tram that you arrived at. Well, we're going to, but I want to try to talk to everybody. Can I do that? Will this get me back down to the science station? Really? Oh, but I wanted to follow up with people. Now you're just ruining my fun. Can I go this way? Let me try to get back this way. No, you can't get back that way either. That's really disappointing. I was really hoping I could, you know, follow up with all the scientists, check in with the security guard, tell them that it's okay to leave, but maybe they've already evacuated? It could be possible, right? What's our next move, Commander? Head for the Mew Relay? Hmm, not so fast. No, we have to go someplace else first. There's no point. No. Uh, let's go with not so fast. I'm real. I couldn't go and follow up with. I had I had a list of people I wanted to go follow up with on Novaria. It was Novaria, right? It, it doesn't matter anymore. We we can't go back. The Mew Relay could link to dozens of systems. Unless we know exactly where Saren's going, we'd just be wasting our time. The commander is right. We cannot rush off blind. We still need to learn more about Saren. Who put you in charge? Did the commander resign when I wasn't looking? 
No, I'm still in charge here. Calm down, both of you. I won't be a puppet for the Asari. I give the orders around here, understood? Whoa. <laughs> Forgive me, Commander. I was only trying to help. It, it's okay. I didn't mean to snap quite so harshly. Look, this is a tough mission. We're all on edge. Everyone go get some rest. Crew dismissed. Novaria report is away, Commander. You want me to patch it through to the Council? Yeah, no doubt they're going to be upset with me over something. Patch him through, Joker. Setting up the link now, Commander. Is this report accurate, Commander? You found Rachni on Navaria? And then released the Queen. Do you have any idea what you've done? How many generations until they overrun the galaxy? <laughs> Not my problem, should I guess? <laughs> they won't. Well, they said they won't. It, it doesn't hurt to trust them. Oh, God, this was such a poor decision, wasn't it? It's too late now, though. This queen is different. She understands why her kind had to be wiped out last time around. I hope you're right, Shepard. Our children's children will pay the price if you're not. We'll be waiting for your next report, Commander. Oh, I hope. I hope, I hope. I hope, I hope. So let's see. Novaria, where is the last one? I think that's it. I'm not sure when my last death of a matriarch. Matriarch Benezi is dead. She gave you the location of the Mew Relay, but did not know where Saren planned to go after activating it. I think that's the last, last one. Okay. Well, with what time I have left, let's first go to my... Wow, I'm almost fully maxed out with Paragon. That's kind of insane. Oh, look, I can max out my charm now. So sets charm at 12, opens up new dialogue options, which is great, and gives an 8% discount at stores. I do like me some good discounts, considering I wanna go shopping. Um, what put my last point in first aid? Kind of, it kind of helps when I just go barreling into situations. But the last thing it said was to run towards the elevator. And the, the fight with uh, Benezia's, or not Benezia, well, the fight with Benezia, Liara's mom, was, Really wonky, but like my biotic was totally way better than all of her biotics. <laughs> I'm just saying, like Liara is kind of awesome. And and speaking of Liara, let's actually go and check in with her. Hello, thank you. Oh no, wait, she's no, she's down there, right? It's been so long since we've talked to companions. I've forgotten where everybody's parked at. Oh, Caden, we need to talk to him. Hopefully they hopefully they won't be as awkward as they were last time. <laughs> Old Liara and her mom. That's so sad. Oh. If you are here to talk about Benezia's death, you need not bother. She brought it upon herself. I, I did she? I mean, I'm still very like. It seemed like she signed up and she was all for what Saren was doing, but then at some point, like, he mind-controlled her and then she didn't get a choice anymore. But would she, like I've said before, would she have made the same decisions? It seems like she wouldn't have gone quite so far, but, like, I don't know. It's a very complicated situation and I love it. <laughs> um, but don't you feel bad that she's dead? Don't pretend it doesn't bother you. She was your mother. She was, but she was not. I prefer to remember Benezia as she used to be, before she was corrupted by Sovereign's power. Hmm, she's still with you? The best of your mother lives on in you. Her determination, her intelligence, her strength. That is kind of you to say. I appreciate your concern, but I am fine. Benezia chose her path, just as I have chosen mine. I am with you until the end, Shepard. Hmm. Let's talk. I mean, that's. I. I mean, I'm. I'm happy you're dealing with it, but like, I feel like your mom like died like five minutes ago. Okay. <laughs> so I feel like there should be some more emotion to it, but maybe it's an Asari thing. I don't. I don't know. But let's talk. I like talking with you, Liara. No matter what the subject. Then let us talk about you. Are you okay? Um. I have nightmares. Apparently. I'm not sleeping well. The visions keep me up at night. I wish there was something I could do to help you. You need to be at your best, Commander. The crew relies on you for leadership. It can be a heavy burden. <laughs> They're not the problem. I can handle it. This is a waste of time. Yeah, I feel like the crew are... They're, they're a good bunch. Yeah? I can handle the responsibility of command. 
But if I don't stop Saren, the entire galaxy gets wiped out. Yeah. I'm sorry, Commander. The last thing you need is someone constantly reminding you of how grim things are. Is there anything else you would rather talk about? Hmm. Let's bring up Benezia again. Do you know why Benezia joined up with Saren? Benezia was swept up in events beyond her control and lost herself. She fell under the spell of indoctrination and became part of the very thing she wanted to stop. But I will remember and honor how she lived, not how she died. My mother was strong, kind, and beautiful. And now she is gone. That sums it up like what happened to Venezia way better than I ever did. <laughs> so yeah, I'm I'm I am sorry your mom is is no longer with you. I, I I mean, she wasn't a good person in the end, completely, but she was still your mom. Are you gonna be okay? You are kind to ask, Shepard. I do miss her, and I grieve for what happened to her. But I will not let my grief interfere with what we are trying to accomplish. Okay, and then I'm pretty sure we've done Asari culture, but I want to see if there's anything new. I'd like to know more about the Asari. We were the first species to discover the Citadel. We were instrumental in forming the Council, and we always strive to be the voice of peaceful cooperation in galactic disputes. My people believe we are all part of a single galactic community. Each species contributes something to the greater whole. Although we seek to understand other species, it seems few of them seek to understand us. The galaxy is filled with rumors and misinformation about my people. I remember this now. So yeah, we have done this. So bye. I should go. Goodbye, Commander. Bye. Oh. Poor girl. No codex entry. Well, we haven't talked to Dr. Chakwas in a while. Yes, Commander? Is there something you need? Personal questions? How did you end up serving on I the list? I enlisted. But humanity needs the Alliance if we want- I should go. Goodbye, Commander. Goodbye. I mean, like, why can't she get new dialogue? <laughs> okay, let's save and talk to Caden. Oh, we're stuck again. <laughs> He's always so stressed out. Anything you need, Commander? Personal input? Just trying to get a sense of where the crew's at. Thoughts? I didn't figure you'd have time to talk with all that's going on. There's gotta be some xenobiologists who want to read about the Thorian. Hmm. They can wait? Probably screw it. Yes, I'm too busy to talk. Uh, l let's say they can wait. The paperwork will keep. Something on your mind? I'm just looking for an ear. That a briefing wasn't the right place to say how ridiculous this is. Seems like every other race in the galaxy is wrapped up in their own problems. They don't want to see what's coming. I mean, you can't blame them. That's your training talking smug aliens. No, um... I I'm gonna go with the first one just because it's the best of the bunch. Wanting to believe everything will be fine? Sounds like human nature to me. Yeah. Yeah, I guess some things carry across species well enough. I should remember that after what happened with Furnace. So what what happened with Furnace? I don't remember, I'll be honest. Don't tell me you and Vernus hugged on graduation day. Before I met Vernus, I knew as much as any other civilian. Aliens were weird, superior, and <laughs> tried to tell us what to do. I mean, it's only been 26 years since first contact. That's not a lot of time to understand them. But it was Vernus who made me see how human aliens are. They're not different or special. They're jerks and saints, just like us. Hell, by the time I got payback, I didn't even want it anymore. Is he the guy who ran the biotic camp that he went to? I feel like that must be who he was. But yeah, what payback? I don't see you snapping very easily. What finally did it? He hurt Rana, broke her arm. She reached for a glass of water instead of pulling it biotically. She just wanted a drink without getting a nosebleed, you know? Like an idiot, I stood up. Didn't know what I was gonna do, just something. And Vernus lost it, beat the crap out of me, kept shouting how they should have bombed us back to the Stone Age. And that's when the knife came up. A military issue talent, right in my face. I cut loose, full biotic kick right in the teeth. Almost as strong as I can manage now. At 17, that's something. Yeah, that, that is impressive. And you tried to help Rana. And my game keeps like lagging every once in a while when it switches between close-ups and, and this kind of scene. So I'm, I'm not sure what's going on, but whatever. 
You wanted to help a girl you cared for. That's a noble thing. Maybe my intentions were noble, but I... I lost control. Oh. I killed him, Shepard. Oh, dear. Snapped his neck. They probably could have saved him if they got him to an infirmary quick enough. But they didn't. Caused a stir when they shipped him home. Bot training was shut down. Kinetix folded a couple of years later. So, yeah, maybe I hated that Turian. I mean, if one ass was enough to judge a whole race, I'd hate humans too. <laughs> um, fair enough. Whose side are you on? Do you? Um, none of these are really great. Let's just go with the first one again. A reasonable stance. Keep that level head and we'll do fine. Staying reasonable is about all we've got left. Yeah. Everyone else in this galaxy seems to have gone out of their minds. <laughs> Present company accepted, of course. Thanks. I mean, oh, a codex entry. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's, people are people. You know, no matter what species you are. You know, some are good, some are bad, and everything in between. So, okay, well, I want to check in with Caden one more time, but I think we're going to have to wait and do that tomorrow because we are at time for today. So tomorrow I want to spend time catching up with all of my squad mates and then probably head back to the galaxy map and start exploring more planets and go from there. So as always, I thank you so very much for watching. Please do keep yourselves safe and I will see you again tomorrow with another new Mass Effect video.